remember love, da, 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 at the end of it. <laughs> and somebody, a, a woman said to me one time, you can't eat those, that's not healthy. And I said, well, what's in there? Vegetable. And she said, doesn't matter, they're not healthy. <laughs> and she was so kind, she got a really fine knife, sharp, and thinly took it and shaved the sweet potato and dehydrated it with onion and garlic powder. Mm. You've never tasted anything more delectable in your life. And by God, I didn't know I was boosting my immune system. I thought I was in seventh heaven. <laughs> <laughs> nutrient properties that do become medicine when we incorporate them into our diet. Tell your doc he better learn about this. One thing that is plaguing most people in the world, which is high cholesterol. How smart are you about what you swallow? We want to give you a little bit of a hint. It reduces people's memory. It may or may not directly be linked to heart attacks or strokes. That's wild. Welcome to Ingredient IQ. Brian Clement here, Hippocrates Wellness. My name is Lindsay Johnson and welcome to Ingredient IQ. And today we're going to actually take your IQ and we're going to improve it with something that you probably have consumed before but had no idea it was that good for you. Because something that tastes so good shouldn't be that good for you, should it? I mean, it's, it's <laughs> delicious. So we're going to start it right off by asking you a question. Uh, globally, blank has a significant role to play in the fight against vitamin A deficiency. Uh, vitamin A deficiency is of public health significance in developing countries, causing temporary and permanent eye impairments and increasing mortality, especially among children, pregnant, and lactating women. So, little hint. I'll give another hint that this is very popular food, and there it is. You see that around Thanksgiving, don't mm -hmm. you? But in other countries, you know, where does that come from? Most people think, oh, that must be because it's Thanksgiving, the North. Mm. No, but I think it's the South. It is, and it's Africa. Ah. It's an African food. Can you imagine that? The Africans had a lot of great things, I'm telling you. We should have a little bit more respect for Africa. We could share some more secrets with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yes, it is the sweet potato. And, I mean, I love sweet potato. Who doesn't love sweet potato? You see it used everywhere, but people don't know that much about it. Well, it's become so popular uh, because people realize white potatoes are not that good for you. I know that that's a common fare, especially being Irish. Every day it was white potatoes, white potatoes. Boring. Boring is right. <laughs> and sweet potatoes are healthy for you. A white potato literally has a noxious a toxin inside of it and literally creates acidity in your system that creates inflammation, where the inverse happens with a sweet potato and a yam, which is totally different families three different botanical families. And today we're focusing on the queen of the whole group. This is the one that you can get the most punch for your chewing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna first touch on immunity because a lot of people don't know this as it relates to sweet potato, but the nutrient density of beta carotene in the orange fleshed sweet potato is one of the highest available in any plant food. Beta carotene is converted to vitamin A in your body, which is critical for a healthy immune system. Oh my gosh, is it? And most people say, well, you know, I know we take it and we bake the heck out of it for 18,000 hours and then we it. take it out. How about eating this raw? We do that mm. here at Hippocrates. And I'll tell you a little secret. You know, one of my hangups when I began all of this back in 1970 was I really liked chips. How many of you out mm. there like, you, did you ever like chips? I loved chips. See that? Remember love, da, 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 at the end of it. <laughs> and somebody, a, a woman said to me one time, you can't eat those, that's not healthy. And I said, well, what's in there? Vegetable. And she said, doesn't matter, they're not healthy. <laughs> and she was so kind, she got a really fine knife, sharp, and thinly took it and shaved the sweet potato and dehydrated it with onion and garlic powder. Mm. You've never tasted anything more delectable in your life. And by God, I didn't know I was boosting my immune system. I thought I was in seventh heaven. 
<laughs> and that's such a good point too because the sweet potato if you dehydrate or use it with other spices you can really change the flavor so if, if you use like cinnamon and nutmeg oh. on it it's <laughs> like that very that warm sweet dessert kind of feel to it and then you can Imagine use your mommy it does and then you can have savory <laughs> ones and then make it kind of taste totally different so it's such a great uh food and yeah. so versatile too uh, so one cup of orange sweet potato with the skins, very important, um, provides more than seven times the amount of beta carotene um, than the average adult needs. Can you imagine that? Would you like to have extra beta carotene so you could deposit it? Of course. Mm -hmm. Most of you don't have enough beta carotene. And beta carotene is for your eyes, anti-cancer, pro-heart, helps the prostate, helps the breast helps your circulation. We can keep going, but we don't have enough time. <laughs> and I can also tell you this, she said orange. Mm -hmm. You mean there's different colors sweet potatoes? There are, and we're gonna be talking about some of those actually right now. So studies have found that the antioxidants in actually purple sweet potatoes can protect the brain by reducing inflammation and preventing free radical damage. When I was a kid, a very popular song was a purple people eater. This is the purple brain feeder. Ah. And I can tell <laughs> this is, it's just unbelievable. It preserves neuron function in the brain. And what that is, is when you're listening to us and understanding what we say, that's your neurons doing that. Mm. You know, your brain is just a big clump of water and fat, mm. but it's the neurons that make it user friendly. And these purple, let's say it again, purple sweet potatoes. Now, mm. where do you buy those? Well, I've actually found them at a few, um, ethnic food stores by by me. Have, where have you seen them? You mean white girls like you to go to ethnic I food do. stores? I do, yes. They have some <laughs> of the better food, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. You're, you don't want to go to white people's stores. They don't have tasty food. They, I don't, they only have white potatoes. <laughs> yeah, but this is becoming ever increasingly more popular. And I can tell you something. Uh, I was never, ever, ever uh, thinking that we'd have choices when you go out to eat. Mm -hmm. But many times they say, well, you like French fries with white potatoes or mm -hmm. sweet potatoes. Yeah. Which one are you gonna choose from this point on? Sweet potatoes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> and by the way, you can say, I'm sweet because I've eaten sweet potatoes. <laughs> exactly. Um, so also interesting about sweet potatoes is for your gut health because uh, test tube studies have found that the antioxidants in, uh, once again, purple sweet potatoes promote the growth of healthy gut bacteria. And that's great all around. You're not kidding. And the more we look at this, uh, it's great to see finally the allopathic medical community is acknowledging what we've talked about here for all this time, that your entire immunity, about 70% comes from your gut. And the food for those healthy bacteria happen to be cellulose and the nutrients that are in these potatoes literally take that cellulose and multiply the bacterial count of healthy, healthy probiotics, as we call them. Yeah, it's, it's delicious and it's good for you. So, uh, you know, Brian, the sweet potatoes, we have them here raw at Hippocrates. It's one of those foods that a lot of people don't realize you can eat raw, just like people don't realize you can eat corn raw and oh, yeah. other things you, raw. You, once you eat it raw, you don't really want it cooked. It's, it's crunchy, it's sweet and delicious, and we, we highly recommend it. You bet. And even if you choose to be a sinner and cook, <laughs> it's okay. I'd rather have you eat a sweet potato mm -hmm. than other things that you consume. And remember this, that in your life, if you could just get rid of all the smoke that's in our minds and all of the confusion and the habitual ways that we think and live, you're gonna to start to see things clearly like this. And feed yourself and your friends and family with this and you're gonna be a better and healthier person and happier. Till next week. This is Ingredient IQ.